Hi guys, this is Paige with another in my mailbox. Now this is the fourth time I've done this video, so if I mess up, please just disregard it. <laughs> I messed up the first two times, and then the third time my mother decided to interrupt me to tell me that she was leaving. I, I don't know why, but she decided to. So anyway, I'm going to get to the chase. Um, I'm going to get to the books or whatever, I don't care. I'm going to start off with a book that I, I already showed in like a previous IMM, but I'm reading it now, so I wanted to show it. City of Ashes, and I love this cover. I love all the, the covers of the Mortal Instruments series. City of Bones and City of Glass. I just picked this up for Christmas, and I decided I'm... Well, actually, I did a uh, poll on my blog to see what I should read next, and the results came out for City of Ashes, so I'm reading City of Ashes. And I really like this because there's a... Like a gives you the first chapter of City of Glass, which is awesome, because I love when that happens, even though I don't read them, because I know that if, well, if I had the next book on the shelf, I would read it, but I know if I'm not going to be able to read it for a long time, that I'm not going to read it, because that will just make me jealous and want the book. And then it has the first chapter to, um, Clockwork Angel, even though I don't have to wait, because I have that on my shelf right now. So that's that. And then I'll start with the books I got at the library. Now, there's a story, a little bit of a story behind this, because... My mom brought me to the library a couple days ago, earlier this week, I think, Monday or Tuesday. And she said, I'm bringing you here to use the internet, but you cannot get any books. And I said, why? And she's like, because you have too many books to read, and I'm not getting any more to read, because you're already overwhelmed. She, because I have two shelves of books that need to be read. So anyway, I begged her and begged her, and finally she agreed, because I told her that I signed up for a Support Your Local Library Challenge. And she said, okay, only because it's a challenge, so you can get them. And I was like, okay. So I decided... That every time I go get books from the library, I'm going to get two books. One is going to be one I've never heard of before. And the other is going to be one that I've been wanting to read. That's on my wish list or something like that. So, the first one I got, and it's the one I've never heard of, is And Then Everything Unraveled by Jennifer Sturman. What's that? And I thought it was in verse at first, because my friend told me it was, but it's not. It's not regular, so... Hopefully this is good. And it's short because I don't have a lot of time to be reading, like, random books. Any, well, I do, but not because I'm reading I'm reading six books right now. I don't know if you guys do that, but... So, and then the one that I'm really excited to get is the one that was on my wish list that I wanted to read. And I've been waiting forever for this to come out. It just came out last year, like the end of last year, something like that, I think. I don't know. The Future of Us by J. Asher and Carolyn Mackler. And it's about these two kids, basically, like, teenagers, and they have, it's in 1996, which is the year I was born, so this, based 15 years ago, basically, um, I, I mean, the two of them get a CD-ROM, and they sign on to AOL, very old, because I don't use AOL, uh, and as soon as they log on to AOL and make themselves an e email address, Facebook pops up, and they see themselves 15 years down the line, and a lot of things happen, and it's so good for so far. So, yeah. Jay Asher wrote 13 Reasons Why, which I still haven't read and I really want to read. And then Karen Mackler wrote The Earth, My Butt, and Other Round Things, which sounds fun. I think I've seen the cover and I loved her or something like that. But yeah, the rest of the books I all got I got all in the mail. One I, I bought with Buzz Bucks, so I didn't technically use my own money. One was a... Uh, an arc tour, and then one was a review copy. My very first review copy. I've never, I've gotten like arc, like I mean ebook review copies, but I've never gotten a re review copy for me to keep. So I was excited when I got that. The first one I got with my buzz bucks off random buzzers, the Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, and I got this because I love the synopsis on the back, and because I really like the cover. I heard, I, th I feel like I've heard of Carrie Ryan around. Like I feel like I've seen books by her. I just don't remember. So if you guys know any books by Carrie Ryan that are good, like, YA books, let me know in the comments. And then a little bit ago, well, actually a, couple, a bunch of weeks ago, I signed up for the DAC art tour for Fracture. Because Christy at the Story Siren, she has the debut author challenge. And to help those who can't really, really don't have money to be getting just new releases, uh, she just designed the arc tours so that you could sign up and then you can read it and then go to the challenge and any other challenges. So, Fracture finally came. I was the last on the tour, which is why I didn't come right, right away. I was like, it was like five people maybe and I was the last one, so it was like a while before I actually got the book, maybe a month or so. So anyway, I finally got it 
yesterday, and I'm already on chapter 14, and it's freaking amazing. It's throwing me through loops, and I just, I just had to stop reading because something made me really mad. Like, not mad that I don't like the book, but mad, like, makes me feel awful for the characters. You know how you get into a book and you feel the characters' feelings? Well, that's what happens. So I had to just put it down and stop reading to calm my nerves. So yeah, I started reading that. I'm gonna finish it tonight and put my review up because Fracture already came out, so then. And then I'm gonna mail it back. So, the last book I got, I'm excited for because, like I said, it's my very first review copy that I actually get to keep. So, it's not an ARC, but it's a review copy, and I'm really excited. So, first I'll show you, actually I'll show you the book, Fire Seed 1 by Catherine Stein, a Fire Seed novel. This cover is really pretty, like, it looks like something that I wouldn't read, like, when I first saw it online, but then when I saw it up close, it looks pretty cool. The line on the back says, what if the only person who could help you save the world was your worst enemy? It sounds really cool. And I like reading blurbs, like little quotes on the back, if I know the author. Like, um, I'm reading City of Ashes, like I said, and I know Stephanie Mayer, her blurbs on the front cover. And then on the back, I know Holly Black and Libba Bray. I, I've seen their books around. I haven't read them yet, but I've seen them around. So on the back of this one is a quote from Amy Kathleen Ryan, author of Glow, and I loved that book. It was amazing, so I can't wait to read this one. And then also I got a little, I don't really know what it is, it just has the cover and little stuff about the book. And she wrote, hi Paige, thanks for being a part of the tour, because I'm part of a tour that's going on in March. And she was awesome enough to sign my copy, even though I didn't ask for it and I didn't like do anything for it, but it was awesome because I love signed copies. So. That is everything I got this week. I hope you guys had an awesome book week. And make sure you leave the links and comments in the comment section. Happy reading.